Hi, I'm Mindy and this is Matt and we bought a school bus. We, uh, we've decided that we're gonna convert the school bus into a house, a tiny house, also called a schoolie. I uh, wonder, I guess, you know, some be there are a lot of schoolies being built recently, it seems. People are really like, jumping on the bandwagon of, of school bus conversions or tiny houses. Um, I, I think that the reason is because people are really getting excited about the idea of sustainable housing. Uh, so many of us have seen our family members and our friends and stuff struggling with these huge mortgages and all the, everything that comes along with owning a house, like um, just repairs and all that stuff. And so that is one of the reasons why we decided we were going to go schooly. Um, what do you think? What what are some of your reasons for choosing? Or well, let's talk first about um, what, where, how we got here, how we landed here. Right. So we started. Um, we decided that maybe we wanted to build a cordwood house, a small cordwood house. Right. And originally, that was our plan. Right. We we thought we might be able to buy a piece of land from family members and um, and build a cordwood house. And then we looked into it, and we decided that. A tiny house would be a better way to go and we thought of all the different ways that you could have a tiny house but this one allows us a lot of flexibility in the building materials that we have to make right because um, but building a tiny house the stick structure you still have to uh, build the walls and build the roof but with the school bus it's already here um, the walls and the roof are already here so we're mostly doing interior work. Um, and that's more kind of where we feel more comfortable because we've never done this before. That's right. So um, what else? Uh, so another thing that we were, the reason that we landed on um, doing a schoolie is that we, we thought about like, okay, so how much is it gonna cost? Like even if we build our own cordwood house or our own like straw bale house or something like that, how much is this gonna cost us? And we were just thinking, like, we'd have to wait a long time to really be able to afford to do that um, reasonably. And we we didn't want to wait. We don't want to um, we don't want to get stuck renting. Where you know, a lot of times people get stuck um, paying for their rent and then having no extra money to save towards a, a down payment or something else. Uh, we didn't want to get stuck doing that. And um, you know, renting is fine, but for us, we just really feel like we want to, like, own our own place, right? So right. we thought uh, a tiny house or especially a schoolie is a really low cost uh, way to have our own place. And we thought, okay, if we put our money into building it, then after it's built, it's ours. And that's it. And we're not paying a mortgage. And it's, yeah. like, really exciting to think about it that it way. Is. So, um... So other other reasons that we went uh, tiny house or schoolie is that uh, it's more sustainable. Um, it's you know just the idea of a smaller house is more sustainable than say like you know a four thousand square foot house. Uh, obviously, the smaller you go, the less you're paying for heat and the less you oil you're using for heat or whatever else. Um, also, building materials right yeah that's right that's right you can um, you can use uh, any sorts of different building materials that you want to you know we want to use um, things that are um, eco-friendly and um, you know don't have a lot of a lot of chemicals and things like that yeah so um, yeah so sustainability was important to us too and then the the last thing that's it's kind of kind of funny is travel is we realized you know we could have a tiny house that didn't move um, but we decided we wanted a schoolie because we thought it'd be really cool to travel. And it's funny because I never, I, that wasn't actually my number one reason for doing it, which is kind of funny because I think that is oftentimes someone's first reason for choosing a schoolie. But that was our last reason. Yeah. It sort of came secondarily and we were like, wait, our house is going to be on wheels. We could do whatever we want. We could go travel for a year. We could you know, just travel around and look for the place we want to land. Maybe we don't want to live here in New Hampshire forever. Maybe we do. Maybe we want to live part-time 
here and part time somewhere else. So that, that's right, and that, that's right. And so in the winter time we could go somewhere else. In the summertime we could stay up here. So yeah. you know this gives us that flexibility. Right. Um, so let's talk a little bit about our plans for the school bus. So if you can see, we're sitting in the school bus right now. Um, we, you might be able to see that we've taken out some of the seats. Do you want to talk about that? That's really your deal. <laughs> yeah, so I took out some of the seats so far um, in the back. Uh, and, you know, it's just cutting the metal and um, taking the, the hardware out and ripping the seat out, out and throwing it out the back. Um, but we'll have more how-to on how to do that. You know how to how to do that. The, right, the next, we'll make some videos on yeah. That's right. That. And the next thing that I'm going to be doing is taking the heater out, the heater in the back out, and we'll be taking the floor out. So you know, watch for that in the future. Yeah. So um, do you want to talk more about like what our plans are? One of one of my things that I really want is a king size bed. <laughs> yeah. Um, that would be really cool. We'll see. This bus is um, how long? Is it? Remember? It's I don't remember the exact length, but it's a little bit it's a little, a little bit shorter. a little shorter. It's not a full size um, you know full size seventy two foot bus. It's a uh, uh, actually seventy two passenger is what I meant to say. A bus is totally a total bus. The longest you can get is about forty feet. Um, this is not forty feet. Um, this is a sixty five passenger bus, um, and yeah, I, th I think like it was like twenty seven or. 28 28 I think. feet so anyway yeah inside um so that's that that's why i may not be able to have my king size bed but um we have a plan to put a, our bed in the back and then bunk beds for our kids um we're gonna have a composting toilet and a shower sink shower. the whole deal probably gray water for the shower and stuff yes um we'll have a kitchen not sure, this is probably gonna be pretty small, but that's all right. <laughs> um, a kitchen and the I think the biggest thing that we're doing that other people may not be doing is we're fully insulating and putting um, heat in the floor because we are in New Hampshire. Um, and I I think that we'll be here at least sometimes. Right, like, yeah. and to, to start we'll be here. You know, we, we hope to get this done by December. Um, you know, we'll see, um, we'll see. <laughs> But, um, you know, so we, we definitely want to be able to um, possibly live out here in the cold. So we're going to insulate the ceiling and insulate the floor, all, you know, and the floor and, this, and the walls and so on. So, right. you know, we want to we wanna, um, keep it as warm in here as possible. Right. And we want to <laughs> use, winter. right. And we want to use, um, like we talked about, we want to use sustainable materials when we can and... Um, course um, non-toxic materials um, we, we spend a lot of time making sure that we don't have toxins in our environment and, and in our food and in our personal care products so our houses of course um, you know we would really like it to be non-toxic um, we also want it to be low cost as much as possible um, we're really hoping to be able to reuse materials um there's like a, a habitat for humanity store near here that we we're thinking probably be able to get some materials do you want to talk um so we're also going to be working on um, putting on solar panels um, on the roof of the bus at some point you know we'd really like to have a solar panel system and not have to rely on um, plugging in everywhere we go right so we'd like to we'd like to have a, a solar option as well yeah i think that'll be uh, really cool to be able to um, what they call boondocking where you can just kind of park somewhere and you have everything you need you don't have to be hooked up anywhere so I think that's a cool idea um, what else is there anything else we want to mention real quick um, I don't know we're we're still um, drawing up our floor plan and coming up with ideas and I think it's probably gonna change it probably will change um, constantly until we actually do the inside so and we're gonna we're gonna be doing lots of different videos on what we're doing um, we're gonna try to make videos as we go and you can follow along and see what we're up to and see how we're building things and different ideas um, that you you know we've put into our bus and if you're interested in something similar if you're thinking maybe you'd like to build a bus or um, maybe a tiny house or some other smaller kind of more sustainable housing hopefully this could inspire you too so 
And if you'd like to follow along, just subscribe and you'll get all the updates for the bus project. Thanks for watching. <laughs>